Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have just another video on the Grand Mafia. And in theme with the kill event that's going to start later today in this city, I'm going to be doing a short video tutorial on defending your base. Now there are a few different strategies for this. One thing I will tell you though, traps are not necessarily something you can rely on. You can see I mentioned 25, which is max at the moment going to click on my wall you can see the reason that traps are not to be relied on is you can see here there is a max of 125,000 traps that you can have at mansion level 25 now regardless of how good your research is or your enforcers 125,000 traps is not going to stop a 200,000 troop army uh, that's what you have at down at mansion 25 is just the base not even including enforcers so when they hit you with 200,000 plus it's not going to do it will they help absolutely but it's not something you can rely on the biggest things for defense there's going to be two different strategies for this strategy number one is full defense you want your best enforcers you want them to be well-rounded so you can see here i've got Looks like two bruisers, two um, bikers, and one hitman. Although, let's see. I think I might... Actually, I'm going to leave it at that. Because I don't have any other good hitman ones that are going to be better than this. So this is what I've got. It's nice and well-rounded. You can see all of these stats that they give me. And you're going to confirm. Now, this is assuming my army is all here. Now, one thing you want to think about is if you have 90% of your army trained as bikers, you're going to want most of these as bikers. I tried to even it out so I have pretty close to the same amount of every troop. That way I don't have any you know, weaknesses. So that's why I have it pretty spread out. But if you have 200,000 bikers, 50,000 hitmen, and 10,000 uh, bruisers, you're definitely going to want mainly bikers on the wall. That way you can have that boost. Now for defense, for defending, you have two ways of going at this. You can go for keep your troops alive so your underboss does not get captured. Or you can go for kill as many enemy troops as possible. If you're just trying to get kills, you're going to want attack. Attack is what will kill them, but it will not stop yours from dying. So you're going to suffer losses, but they're going to suffer losses too. If you go for defense and health... Or defense and life, sorry. What it will do is it will make less of yours die, but it does not affect the amount of theirs that die. So that's kind of how it evens out. I have nice, well-rounded, you know, some attack, some defense, some life. That way, you know, got a mix. But yeah, if you're just going for kills, you know, attack is the way to go. However, you're going to get hit hard. Luckily, when defending, as long as you still have room in your hospitals, your troops will go get injured and not actually die once they start dying that's when you're going to start losing influence because you do not get all of them back now when you're attacking that's different you will lose troops when they get killed but so for defense the other strategy you're going to have is if you are actively attacking while defending so if you're sending out armies at you know say you're in the enemy's hive enemy's base if you're attacking them with your main army you want to make sure that your wall does not have your main army because if you have your wall set to the five that you use for your main army and you send them out to attack they will not help defend you will suffer losses because you do not have these boosts so if i was actively attacking i would probably take all of these off the wall and I would put, like, maybe her and her, throw on her, and let's see, maybe throw on her, too. You know, do something like that, and that way I have my other five that I could use. Oh, wait, no, he should not. Oh, I can't take him off the wall, I guess. But, um, so that way you can have your defense still while you're attacking. Now, at the moment, since I'm not actively attacking, I'm going to put these guys back. 
But so that's something you want to look at. And then also with the traps, if you look at them, you can see some of them are strong against different types. Some of them are weak against different types. These ones are strong against bikers. These ones are strong against hitmen. And these ones are strong against bruisers. They're all weak to cars. Um, mortars, artillery, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's how you kill traps is you use those. But since you can't have as many traps, it's not really worth sending a ton of them in your army. But if you have, you know, tier 4 traps, max stats, you can deal some damage. But like I said, don't re rely on it. Main thing you're going to want is if you have a lot of troops, like you can see I have, I have 700,000 troops. If someone attacks me with 200,000, they're not going to beat me. It's going to take a raid to beat me at this point. Regardless of who it is, no one here has tier 4 that I'm aware of, so, you know, I'm safe with that. Um, now, if I'm getting relentlessly attacked, that is different. They're going to hit, get hit very hard, but I am as well. Um, now, so just a quick recap with all of this. When defending, make sure you have also your equipment. If I'm defending like this, that's not going to help. You want your best, I'm not going to show it because we're about to go into a kill event and I don't want to give all of my stuff away, but you want your best fighting equipment, you want your specialties set to attack and defense and health, not to production like I currently have them, I need to respec it. That will then give you attributes since your uh, underboss is always on your wall. So make sure you have the right specialties, the right equipment and make sure that if you're going to take a hit you either have no troops at home that's another thing you have this right here the safe house so you can see i can hide up to two hundred and six thousand troops obviously i have way more than two hundred six thousand troops um so what that means is i would have to send them out you can always do this and click on an empty spot and just click occupy and then you can send an army and just camp in a spot like this right here you can see that is just an army typically you know people will not attack that because that is considered um uh, what is the word i'm looking for rude like you know people just kind of have an agreement a subconscious agreement you do not do that against the fake rules of the game. But anyway, so, for defense, yeah, make sure you have your specialties right, make sure your enforcers are going to be on the wall when you get hit, or else you won't have that, and make sure you have your research done, equipment set. Now, if you don't want to lose troops, your options are send them out. Send them far away, or camp wherever you can, send them to a friend who's shielded, you know, lots of different ways. Just make sure they are not in your city. You can hide some here in the safe house. You can send them out. You know, that's another way. But make sure you send your underboss as well. They can capture it if you just leave it in the city with no troops. But I hope this helps with defense. Um, I might, during the kill event, put on a tutorial on attacking as well. We'll see about that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like that. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll continue to try and make more videos for you guys.